coming up in this read. You're not following your heart. You're not putting yourself as a priority. You're putting someone or something else before yourself. Virgo, let's get into your June reading. Any information that you need, as always, you can find it all in my description box and in my pinned comment below. If you're cross-watching for a Virgo, then please switch over the roles because I could be speaking directly to you. And please do keep in mind that this is a general reading, which means it's not going to resonate for absolutely everybody. You just take what's resonating specifically for you and you leave what doesn't for another Virgo or cross-watcher. Please also do respect the tarot and approach it with patience, an open mind and without expectations. And finally, if you don't want to miss a video, then subscribe and stay notified. Okay, so Virgo, um, I'm currently pulling the strongest energy that surrounds you. And this is going to be the foundation for the rest of your read. Okay, right. So you've got the heart and the door in reverse. Love, affection and romance <clears throat> and closed doors, endings or inaction. Right, so... This combination indicates that either you or someone that you're dealing with is currently not taking action uh, towards how they feel. So someone's not taking action towards who or what it is that they love. They're keeping themselves stuck, restricted. They could have their own reasons for doing it. I don't know what those reasons are just yet. What I can tell you is someone is basically wasting time. They're either wasting your time or they're wasting their own time. OK, they're not moving. They, they know exactly how it is that they feel and they have chosen not to take action on their feelings. So with this one, Virgo, I am going to say to you, look, if anybody is stringing you along and keeping you waiting, um, basically deliberately keeping you stuck, making sure that you're not able to move on from them, then um, the wise thing to do in that situation is for you to take action and for you to remove yourself out of that situation. OK, it isn't. Listen, nobody has got the right to be wasting your time. That is ridiculous. OK, someone clearly knows exactly how they feel and they've taken the decision to not take action towards something or someone that they love. You then have the peacock, a card of exteriors, material success, a glittering display, fame and fortune or flattery with the moon, a card of influence. Beside the sun, you lack for size, yet still you order time and tide. Quiet power behind the scenes influence. Right. So this, you're being reminded, Virgo, that you still do have a lot of power and that power does belong to you. This is a reminder that everybody has got different talents and different abilities, different capabilities. OK, you're not going to be able to be amazing at absolutely everything. Right. That that's not how it works. That's just not how life happens. Um, either you or someone else that you're dealing with is basically playing the game of comparisons here. And again, that that's not healthy. OK, so I feel that this could be the other individual that you're dealing with. Right. They're, they're needing a reminder that they have got their own skill set and that they need to play into their own strengths rather than play in the game of comparisons. There is enough success for everyone. All right, I'm going to see what else this is. Can you elaborate more, please, on this energy for Virgo? It could, it could well be you that's playing the game of comparisons, but doing it subconsciously with that moon energy, not recognizing that you have your own, um, like you, you excel at certain things that someone else uh, 
doesn't excel at. So don't compare your success to someone else's. Okay. You need to avoid that way of thinking. Can you elaborate more on this energy, please, for Virgo Collective? The Queen of Swords, the Six of Coins and the Fool. Yeah. Pay attention to what it is that, that you're spending your energy on at this point in time, Virgo. Okay. You know better. You know better to, than, than to play that comparison game. You're being told with this fool energy to invest in something new. And six of coins. That is an investment. That's a quality. An, e an equal give and take. An equal exchange. Something being fair and balanced. So you need to put your focus and effort towards something that is more in alignment with with who you are and what your and what your skill set actually is. Okay. Um, a bit of a strange one, but there we go. Right. So I'm going to pull your tarot, and we'll see if we can elaborate further on this energy. Um, the heart with the door in reverse, but that also pertains to self-sabotage as well. So make sure that you're not sabotaging yourself, Virgo, out, out of um, fear of potential fail, uh, potential failure. Okay. I have a nine card spread, please, for the Virgo Collective. Okay, so Virgo, your first card out is Death, that's Scorpion energy. You then have the Seven of Cups, that's more Scorpion energy. The Queen of Swords again, okay, so that's Libra. So it's the Queen of Swords that you've had out twice now. Um, you've got all these in reverse. The Sun reversed, it's Leo. Uh, the Two of, what is that? The Two of Swords in reverse. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go get the door. Um, you've also got the High Priestess in reverse. Um, the Knight of Cups also in reverse. That's Pisces energy. What else, please? <clears throat> okay, the Six of Cups upright. That's Scorpion. What else for Virgo, please? And the Six of Wands upright. The energy at the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups. Okay. This is similar to the Cancerian read that I've just done. Okay. Similar energy where someone else was expecting you to put them first and foremost. Um, a lot of yous are still actually pitting others before yourself. And that is where this self-sabotage is coming in from. It's because you're prioritizing other other people before yourself. Yeah, three of swords with the ace of cups hidden underneath that one. Yeah, uh, Virgo, you're only hurting yourself here by doing this and you're being told to stop. Under no uncertain terms are you to stop doing this. Okay, you're, you're sabotaging your own happiness, you're hurting yourself, you're um, taking away your own opportunities here. Five of Swords under there, yeah. You, you, you're feeling defeated. Absolutely defeated. And exhausted as well, for a lot of you. There's past programming here that's causing you all of these problems, Virgo. 100% past programming. Some of you were led to believe that by you pitting your needs 
as a, pro a priority, that you were being selfish by doing that. And, and you were taught wrong, okay? Your teachings were incorrect. Now it's gotten to the stage where you have to start putting yourself first. Now I'm not talking about being a narcissist or narcissistic, okay? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the basic rules of survival, okay? I'm not talking about the um, distorted version of self-care, right? I'm talking about literally you needing to make really big decisions for yourself and you're struggling to do that because you've been taught that by putting your needs or making your needs a priority is you being selfish. That's the biggest load of bullshit ever. Because you've been suffering. Okay, all of these reversals, this is you as suffering and unnecessarily so. You could have been happy this entire time. This is being content. Having your needs being met. You meet your own needs, but you haven't been meeting your own needs. And this has been the source of your unhappiness and your problems. Your first card out is death. Resurrection, a small disaster, hindrance and change. Okay. It's, there, there needs to be a change here. A change to, to your priorities. Why are you not making yourself a priority? You can tell us more, please, about death for Virgo. Clarified with death and the nine of wands. So it's the same message, the exact same message. Death also means liberation. Currently, you, you have to work harder and longer than anyone else for just a fraction of the success that everyone else gets. Now, why is that? The reason being is because you're not following your heart. You're not putting yourself as a priority. You're putting someone or something else before yourself. That's why you're constantly struggling. That's why you're being told, Virgo, you must liberate yourself from this. You have to. You've got an information overload here that is central to everything else that's going on in, in your energy. Information overload. You're focused on the wrong thing. Why is the sun reversed? Thank you. Four of Cups. The sun is reversed because of the Four of Cups because there's too much focus on possibly missed opportunities. Feeling embittered about spending too much time with the wrong people. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's absolutely shitty and infuriating when we recognise that we have spent so many years with the wrong individuals. It does, it, it does feel like we have literally wasted <clears throat> almost half of our lifetime with the wrong person, with someone who turned out to be something that they're actually not. Someone who, who had lied to you. I get that. I understand that. But Virgo, you cannot be carrying this uh, resentment around with you. Because it, it is sabotaging everything else.
The Knight of Cups in reverse pertains to someone who is uh, quite emotionally manipulative, emotionally abusive, very, very moody. Um, and then it's come out right next to the Six of Cups. Some of you went against your own intuition when it came to dealing with that individual. It's like your head was telling you one thing. Your intuition was definitely telling you the same thing that your head was telling you. But then it's like you went against your own intuition. You gave them the benefit of the doubt. And guess what? They, they ended up fucking you over anyway. So now you're in this situation where you feel that your heart has led you astray. So you've disconnected from your heart. That's why you're not following what your heart is telling you anymore. Because a lot of you are like, well, my heart has betrayed me before. I don't want my heart to betray me again. So I'd rather, I'd rather cut it out and just cut it off and not listen to it. And, you know, not pay attention to, to the things that my heart is telling me. Because it's gotten me in trouble before in the past. This is exactly the thing that you're being told to liberate yourself from, Virgo. This is how you take back your power. This is, this is how you have your rebirth moment. How about this? Let's put a new spin on this situation. And I will tell you, how about you stop giving your heart to this individual and instead give your heart to yourself. That's one way of taking your power back. It doesn't mean that you have to cut off the rest of the world entirely because of this one shithead. You mustn't, you mustn't do that to yourself, Virgo, because I tell you what you'd be doing. You would be punishing the rest of the world and yourself because of one a-hole. How is that fair? Why, why should everyone else, why should all of the other what is there? There's nearly, what, 8 billion people now on the planet? <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? It's like, how many of them would actually be really um, honoured and grateful to have you in their lives? What, why, why would you punish yourself and the rest of the world? Like, what, why, why should everyone else have to go without just because of one individual? Do you see what I'm saying? Now you've got the Six of Wands here, and that, that's the last card in this spread. That is the Lord of Victory, as you getting the rewards, the accolades. And in this particular deck, as you being rewarded for your bravery and your determination to not allow one person to cock up the rest of your life on your behalf. It's you being defiant. This self-liberation takes you straight to your success. There's a strong need here for self-forgiveness as well, because you're not going to be able to go on this journey, which is you um, moving out of your current situation. You're not going to be able to do that for as long as you're carrying all of these resentments towards yourself yeah you 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 did ignore your intuition yes you ignored your your better um intellect should you say who hasn't done that <laughs> do you know what i mean it's like there isn't a single person on the planet who can sit there and say i have never ever once made a mistake in my entire life that just doesn't happen but i tell you what they don't all do they don't all continue to punish themselves for having fucked up in the past. Uh, that's certainly what they don't do. There's something about this energy, Virgo, that really does scream to me about past programming that you received when you were growing up. And you have you've carried this through into your adult life. You've got the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, and this time 
He's in the upright position. So you will find love again, if that's what you're looking for. You will find it again. You will find that um, sense of inner peace. You will find that um, trust within yourself once again. You absolutely will. You've got the Princess of Wands under there. So that's the Page of Wands. That's that like a youthful zest for life. The, um, the, the overwhelming feeling of honestly and genuinely being excited about being alive that's the page of wands you will find your inspiration again this is initiation energy remember the wands is the spark and then you've got strength under there as well strength courage determination a compromise and it, it this is a funny one because you can see the lion it looks a wee bit scared of this snake and it's like the the, the women's trying to calm down the lion so potentially this is the thing i feel that in this particular um analogy you would be the lion and it's like either you're concerned or worried about change. Would that be in a snake? Change, transition, metamorphosis, a shedding of the old skin. Because um, the, the, the way that things have been, it's like that's all, that's all that you've known. So that's like your comfort zone type thing, you know. So it's like, on one hand, yes, you are desperate for a change, but then on the other hand, you're equally terrified of change because of the uncertainty that that brings with it. But listen, you had death, like death that clarified with death, seriously, change is as good as any. So the question you need to be asking yourself is, well, can things really get any worse from this point on? Do you know what I mean? So it's like, if things were change, if things were to change, would it actually be that bad? I mean, really, it, it can't really get any worse than what you've already been through, you know. So, so maybe just to put a different spin on it. This snake could also obviously be about enemies as well. You could be afraid of what people might say or what people might do. Um, but again, it's like you keep forgetting that, that you, you're the lion in this situation. You're the strong one. You're the brave one. What is it really that, that you're afraid of? Abandoned success, the Eight of Cups. You're afraid of abandonment. Afraid of being let down again. Afraid of being disappointed and hurt again. Listen, it'll either happen or it won't. There's only one way to find out, Virgo. I'm not going to sit here and promise you that, you know, everything's going to be absolutely amazing and there's not going to be any more struggles or problems in your life. I'm, I'm not here to do that. Okay. All I'm, all I'm doing is reading your cards, reading the energy and feeling out what the fuck is going on here. And from what I can see, it's like you're afraid to take a chance on yourself. And that is with sabotaging your current happiness. The only way that you're going to find out is by taking that chance on yourself. Really, really similar to the Cancerian energy. Really similar. What else, please, for the Virgo Collective?
Okay, right, so you've got Ihwas. Um, number 19, let's take a look. Huh. Take speedy action. Open yourself to the power of flow. It benefits us to work with the rhythms of the natural world. Equine assisted therapy may be of comfort to you. Eat seasonally available foods and notice the particular energies of each season. We are not our past. Okay. Ikhwaz is the rune of the horse and it tells us the importance of flow, rhythm and the gaining of momentum over time. Ikhwaz suggests that rather than resisting the flow, we adapt to or even enjoy the rhythm of life as we move with it. There is huge power in riding with the energy and not against it. Ikhwaz is also a rune of the now, not the past nor the future. It reminds us that by being where we are and enjoying the fullness and completeness of this present moment, we create a more mindful and enjoyable future. So um, being right here, right now, in your present moment, okay? So having all of these regrets about the past and all of these resentments about the past it's not serving you being overly worried and anxious about the future equally it's not serving you okay you're being asked to remain in the present moment and to stay with the moment Some of you have got a very strong affinity with uh, horses as well. What else, please, for the Virgo Collective? Okay, it's a bit weird, but I will take them. Um, your, your cards, it's like the, the way that your cards have been coming out throughout this read, Virgo, is also very, very telling about the type of energy that, that you're um, either creating or surrounded by. It feels very lethargic. Okay. Uh, you're so enough. Yep. Buy the ticket and take the ride. Yeah. You're smashing this, so you will be okay. You're stronger than you think. That's exactly what I was trying to tell you. Actually, you can. Never give up, never give up on yourself. Some of you have. And you're straight up magic. Yep. Okay, so I need to leave that one there, Virgo. If you would like to book a private reading that is more catered towards your specific needs, then you can place your booking at phoenixkiataro.com. Thank you so much for watching and we shall speak again soon. Bye.